More than 4,300 frontline workers in South Carolina have been vaccinated with the Pfizer vaccine. News 2's Kate Prestak was part of a teleconference with the Department of Health and Environmental Control today. And Kate, DHEC says we are one step closer to the next phase of this distribution plan. Well, Sophia, before the next phase of vaccinations can begin, the second dose of the Pfizer vaccine must be administered to those 43,000 who received that first dose, and the shipment of the second round doses could be here any minute. 16,000 second round doses of the Pfizer vaccine are making their way to the department, and after being administered, uh, those individuals will be considered fully vaccinated against COVID-19. Dr. Brandon Traxler, the public health director for DHEC, predicts at this rate we could move into phase 1B, including essential workers and the elderly, by February. As long as 70% of frontline health care workers and nursing home residents have been given the chance to receive both doses. But switching phases quicker is not necessarily better. You know, we still only have a certain amount of vaccine that we are getting each week, and that does not increase even if we move into another phase. But of course, the phase on many South Carolinians' minds is the one that includes the general public. Though not fully disclosed, Dr. Robert Oliverio hopes when it comes time for distribution, it will be in a drive through manner. Uh, I think that's probably uh, going to be the most efficient and uh, figuring out uh, where and, uh, and how to do that um, is, is sort of our job, uh, at least right now. While today's teleconference only focused on the Pfizer vaccines, the number of Moderna vaccines administered is hoped to be disclosed later this week, as that is monitored by the federal government and pharmacies. In studio, I'm Kate Prestak. Count on two.